Have you ever wondered how to get people more engaged in your team's meetings? One way you can do that is use polls, formerly known as forms. This feature has been available for a while, but it got an upgrade. That, along with the team's interface update, makes polls easier than ever to use. To get started, you must create the meeting invite, add some people to it, and send it out. Then you can go back and click on Edit and add the polls feature to the meeting. To do that, click on the plus sign at the top of the screen for add a tab, and then select polls from the options. You'll see a few suggestions about recently released poll functionalities, but all you need to do is click on save. A new polls tab will show up at the top of the page. You can choose to add questions before the meeting begins or during the meeting. Let's start by adding a poll before the meeting begins by clicking on new poll. You will see the available question types. In this example, I will start with multiple choice. Add your question and options like you normally would. This is where the upgrade comes in. Instead of creating a poll for each and every question you want to ask, you can click the small add a question option and choose another question type. You can use any of the types available for this feature. One thing that I find interesting is that unlike a traditional form, you can have a quiz question with a correct answer mixed in with the other question types. As a tip, don't forget to indicate the correct answer. The first time I tested this, I forgot and wondered why the launch and save buttons were grayed out. Another thing to keep in mind when creating a poll in Teams meetings is that these questions cannot be marked as required. Therefore, the participants can choose not to answer all of your questions. I think three questions is enough for this example. Now all you have to do is either click launch now or save as draft. Since this meeting is not started yet, I'm going to save it as a draft. The poll is ready to go and I want to join the meeting so we can look at the interface update that I mentioned at the start of the video. In the past, the Teams web application had a different interface than the Teams desktop application. Therefore, I used to say you could not launch and create new polls while in a meeting if you joined from the web. Microsoft updated the interface to make it look more like the desktop app. The polls option is now in the toolbar at the top of the screen. From here, I can launch the poll that was created before the meeting. Also, you can click the app button and add polls during the meeting if you didn't do it before the meeting began. Let's click on the polls option at the top of the screen. A pane will open up from the right hand side of the screen. Here we have the poll that we created earlier. You have the option to launch the poll, edit the poll, or delete the poll. In this case, I wanna go ahead and launch the poll. The poll will show up in the center of the screen where the meeting members can interact with it. It will also show up in the polls pane on the right if the meeting members happen to have that open. Now I can go ahead and answer these questions. Notice that there's not a submit button. I have to at least scroll through all of the questions before the submit button will appear. As the meeting members begin to submit their responses, the poll will update in real time. As the meeting organizer, I can manage the poll by clicking on the three dots at the bottom of the question in the polls pane. You can close the poll, see the response details, etc. Let me know in the comments below, how would you use polls in meetings? As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.